I'm Casey Kasem. These are the nation's biggest hits by the world's hottest stars. Well, now we're up to the current hit for boys to men. It's their a cappella remake of an R&B classic, a song originally recorded in the basement of a church. It all happened way back in 1956. At the time, a would-be doo-wop singer named Fred Paris had been drafted into the Army. Fred had gone through basic training and was about to be shipped overseas from America to Japan. But first he wanted to finish a demo of some songs he was working on with some friends, gospel singers at a local church. Well, one night, shortly before Fred was due to leave for Japan, he was on base on guard duty. It was four in the morning, and the stillness of the night that surrounded him inspired Fred to write one last song for his demo. The next day, he got together with his friends in the basement of their church and recorded that song that he'd written. And a short time later, Fred was shipped overseas. Meanwhile, his friends sent their tape to a small local label. And the people there liked the song Fred had written late at night so much, they made a deal and released it, calling Fred's group the Five Satins. Then, while Fred Paris was serving his country in Japan, the song he and his friends recorded in a church basement became a huge hit all over the U.S., a hit that sounded like this. From 1956, Fred Paris and the Five Satins with their doo-wop classic, In the Still of the Night. Well, recently that song was remade for the TV miniseries The Jacksons and American Dream. And that remake has gone on to become a big top ten hit. American Top 40! Next at number six is the latest top ten hit for boys to men. The guys have remade a song that goes way back to the days of doo-wop rock and roll. And the man who wrote and sang the original is Fred Paris. He was the lead singer of the Five Satins. They were the group that made in the still of the night a rock classic back in 1956. And 1840 tracked him down in Connecticut. And he told us this short little story of how he came up with the song while he was in the Army. I was stationed in, um, right outside of Philadelphia near the International Airport. I wrote it on guard duty. It's about 3 o'clock, and I was thinking about my girlfriend, and I knew I had to write a song for a session, and that's the song that came out. No, no secret, that's exactly what happened. That song has always had a special kind of magic, so I wasn't surprised when I found out where they recorded the original back in 1956. The man who wrote and sang lead on that original, the Five Satins version, is Fred Paris, and he told us all about it. St. Bernadette's, it's a Catholic church in New Haven, Connecticut, right near the East Haven line. Pretty big church. We did it in the basement. It was a stage, and we used very limited equipment. We had, a, I think it was a two-track tape recorder, but it reproduced the sound that we needed to uh, do what we had to do. American Top 40 